Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you for our Target drive. Uh, as you saw just a few video videos ago, we just did this drive uh, and we're going to see how it does. I'm not actually going to upload the 10.5 Asheville drives just because um, uh, they honestly weren't great. Uh, I might use some comparisons for those, but um, it's just we're going to have a lot of content coming out with this to see, so we'll see how that goes. It is doing a little bit better with the poor lane lines right here. A little bit. Obviously, we have some leaves on the road right now. I don't think that was there last time, but the, that seemed, seemed to do well. It's odd how these last two versions are worse than the previous versions coming down this hill. I'm not sure what would be changed to make it worse. Uh, it would never cross the, the line right there. Uh, which is funny enough humans do that all the time I, I used to walk up and down this every day with my dog uh, and I couldn't tell you how many times a car would cross the line right there on a blind turn um, you're good to go from both ways I do like that creeping behavior it's very smooth very slow very controlled um, I do like that a lot. Um, it's much more human-like for sure. Okay, a phantom brake right there. I'm guessing for the car. There's no shadow, so any phantom braking is going to be from cars coming around corners and such like that. I don't believe I had any phantom braking on the first test route. Yeah, right there. That car coming around the curve made it phantom brake. And that's very common around here. We got all these blind curves where you can't see traffic coming around the curves. It's not like in the Midwest where it's just straight. Um, even in uh, California, a lot of, I mean, a lot of places are just open and just flat and straight. Uh, that's not the case here. We got a lot of blind turns, and it's always gonna uh, go through. Uh, it's always gonna have surprise traffic coming around. I'm so surprised it doesn't get in the turn lane here canceled that navigation because we don't want to go to the highway we want to go all the way out uh, this way through Mills River and that way to Target it gives us more non-highway driving doing a lot of phantom braking right here I, I think it's it must be seeing that light up ahead, so it's not breaking again right now. It must have been tr in trying to interpret that light sooner. I did make that comment the last two times we've done this route, is that it needs to be slowing sooner for that light. And it appears to be doing that. Uh, just so I make sure, yeah, we're on the average driving profile here. Um, that's my preferred based on uh, testing, that assertive just makes dumb mis dumb mistakes where it get, cuts out in front of traffic for no reason or it, it's just it's stupid assertive to the point that i'm like it's cutting it far too close and then mild is just like it just oh i see a car coming which just creep out in front of the car and it's just go super slow we're gonna we're, it's like, we're gonna hope that car stops for us <laughs> that's just kind of how it works so average is obviously in between the two uh, it seems to work, seems to be closest to my driving style. So as you can see, it dropped to 45 mile an hour. This is like, oh, look how this ridiculously slow it's decelerating. It should already be at 45 mile an hour at this point. And the only reason it's slowing quicker is because the car in front of us. It's the only reason it's slowing quicker. So it does seem to reaccelerate a little bit quicker after cars pass by like that. Though my preference would be to just maintain speed and just keep on going past. That was good. That car cut out, cut out in front and I, my car did not break at all. Exactly what we want to see. The previous updates would always just hesitate to break on those type of cars cutting in front. And it's just, like as a human, we don't need the brake. We'll just keep on going forward. But as for the computer, it was like, I'm not sure, is this car too close? I'm not sure. And it kind of 
breaks back and forth and it's really unsettling for the passengers. Okay, so brake there, quite bad for no reason. Braking again for all this traffic. The phantom braking is not better with this update, clearly. There's no shadows. It's just braking because of traffic. There, there are no shadows on the road. This is the perfect weather to prove that. See how it gets into this up lane here. It should go ahead and get in the lane right now. Oh, crap, I'm not I'm navigating. Navigate the target. Fortunately, even if it's not updating, it still will properly, it should not go. Oh. Okay, that was my fault. It was actually right. I thought the truck on the left was still had a green arrow. And, um, and it was going to come through the light. Perhaps the car saw that truck and saw it was deaccelerating. I couldn't tell. It looked like it was still, still going to come through the light. I don't have my 360 camera on to show you, but um, yeah, that's probably what happened. And so I'm not, I'm not gonna count that disengagement. That was strictly me misjudging the situation. The car, this is one of those cases where the car was correct and I was wrong. And it's gonna happen more and more often where the car is gonna be correct and I'm gonna be wrong. And that's what we can expect and that's what we wanna see actually. We want to see that the car is right and that I was the wrong one. And so, okay, so this is incorrect. This is something I said, nav like, following route for navigation, which is incorrect. I, I don't understand, like, there's no, it has to be this jog. I keep on canceling the lane change. It's because of poor nav data. It wants to get in the left lane for some reason. Uh, and not even sure why. We're going to go ahead and accelerate it back out of here that was very good that seems to be improved I don't believe any of the change logs noted anything regarding seeing light sooner but that is better than the previous update and I that's what I personally want to see as soon as the light change immediately it should start slowing down uh, and it should just go ahead and assume the light might be green by time well it should assume we will stop so it's gonna coast as long as possible uh, to get to the light at least at a reasonable reasonable speed it should coast because that gives us the ability to save energy and then save time when ultimately you don't have to stop as long you you're already up to speed if you're at 20 mile an hour when you get into the light that means you don't have to accelerate saves energy and time so right now it should be slowing down already for this light it is slowing down sooner like it kind of it lit off now it's slowing down more this is an improvement for sure it's still fr i'm still going to be extra picky exactly what just happened here so we were at 34 mile an hour and we accelerated and so now as we're passing this van that was at nearly a dead stop we are accelerating back and of course now we need to go down to 45 um so we always got to be careful of a police car it just doesn't deaccelerate quick enough i'm going to keep it at 45 going through here though So this is definitely new behavior, I think, on this update. It starts accelerating when the light turns green, like creeping. It creeps forward towards the car in front of me to go ahead and get its speed started. That is that is actually a very human-like behavior and very necessary, in my opinion, uh, for increased overall smoothness. That I, I'm almost positive that is new with this update. It is very aggressive going around these curves, maintaining much higher speed. I'm waiting for it to change lanes. I'm not going to do it uh, until it does. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't try and use the jog again. 
as you can see on the map, it's really all over the place. It should never change lanes in the middle of this intersection here. So previous update, um, that's the last video I uploaded yes yesterday, it got into that turn lane right there. So it's wanting to get only one over. Perfect. That's exactly what it should do. We have one more turn, well, two more turns to make. And if we can make those, we got zero disengagement. I knock on some wood to not, not screw us up here. Where that car is turning is where we need to get in, I think. No, it's turning early, okay. So this is good. I'm not sure why it decides to turn off and on the blinker. It just needs to keep the blinker on when you're just close to the turn lane. Regardless if you make this next turn, this drive is improved. No doubt. I, I very much like this drive. The phantom braking is there. Um, I still, they still need to work on that. It's, it's really ruins the experience, if you will, because of the phantom braking. But it's overall like smoothness and overall like accuracy of turns, like this is better. I probably didn't like those carts there. I say it was better, but I mean it was. Uh, it's while it had the hesitancy. Let's make sure it doesn't get in this lane. This is yes, it cool beans, sweet beans, whatever you that it is cool beans. <laughs> okay, waiting for it. Thought that was a four-way stop. It is not. Well, I kind of is, but it's not. Uh, and so I pressed the accelerator just a little bit to make sure it didn't stop in the middle of the intersection. Hell yes, everyone. This was a zero disengagement drive to target. Um, I messed up here. Okay. There's not normally so many cars back in here. But yeah, everyone, I am happy with those improvements. Um, I'd say... I think this is the first time we've ever done zero disengagements to this. I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I am very happy with this version so far, everyone. Um, the slight improvement with it speed uh, starting to accelerate as the car at the stoplight, uh, as the top stoplight turns green, that I believe is new with this version. I noticed it on the first route. Uh, so I'm very happy with this. Uh, let me know what you think down below. This is going to get uploaded um, either tonight or Monday morning. Probably Monday morning. Um, but if you have any questions for me, glad to, glad to answer. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.